Hi guys, I'm back with some low level night guides and today I bring you in a hive, the east section, uh, in other words the stage 2 section, if you want to think about it that way. And uh, yeah, it's for level 90 plus EK. Um, it's a pretty decent spot. It's not as good as some of the best spots you can do at this level. It's, you know, it's not as good as Nightmare Scions or it's not as good as Carlin Cult. However, this place should give you reasonable profit. The profit comes from um, what are they call the crawler head playthings, something like that. It's an imbue item and it's usually worth quite a lot. Uh, usually somewhere between 5 to 15k depending on your server and how often Hive is active, which is very, very good. However, obviously this spawn requires stage 2 to be active, which it isn't always the case on all worlds, so you'll have to check with the guide NPC. Uh, for the overall tier rating, I give it like a B-, um, it's okay. Um, like I said, it's mostly like a nice alternative profit spot, bestiary spot for a low level EK. The experience is all right. It could be a bit better in other places. Difficulty, I give it a 4 out of 10. It's, it's really not too bad. You know, you may use a great health potion here and there, but overall not too bad. And the bestiaries you'll be able to unlock here are Crawl and Vas Waspoid in 3.5 hours and about 5 hours for the Spitter. So moving on, uh, I recommend level 90 plus for Ixori Gran. Uh, there is no access quest, but stage 2 must be active on your world. Uh, you will need your best 200 physical weapon with 3 imbue slots, and this place can probably be hunted by knights and paladins. Paladins probably from 150. I think I have a video for that as well. Uh, I don't think anybody else really will hunt here. A low-level duo, like level 50, 60 maybe. Uh, wouldn't really bother though. Uh, for recommended imbuements, yeah, all standard. Um, prioritizes physical protection followed by skill gear. Obviously, it's 80% physical, 20% earth. Uh, not really much you can do about that at such a low level, though. Uh, per hour, I used about 1500 strong mana potions and about 50 great health potions. Uh, obviously, you're probably not going to have enough capacity to hunt here for an hour, so you might want to half that or something like that uh, and you know do your 30 minute refills. Charms and A, wheel and A, too low level. Uh, the character in the video is level 95 EK with 108 sword skill with loyalty and no praise active. So let's take a look. Um, inner Hive is always pretty difficult to draw out just because of the map layout. It's, it's quite difficult to see what you're doing, but I'll do my best. Uh, so when you come in, you come in through level zero, you, you know, you come in from somewhere like here. And I always on zero do a couple of pulls. I'll do this pull in here and then I try and do another one in here. At this point, I go up to plus one through the staircase uh, right here. And then I do like a loop to the left. I do a pull here, pull here, pull here. At this point, I will go up to plus two. Uh, on two plus two, I'll do a few pulls uh, as well. I'll usually come in here, do a pull in here do a pull in here, do a pull in here, and at this point I go back down uh, to plus one because I don't want to backtrack, unfortunately, this little section here on uh, plus two, you know, you, you kind of, if you go up and down, you kind of have to backtrack, so I usually skip it and the respawn is, is fine. So then after these three pulls on plus two, I go down to plus one, and I continue through here, I'll do this pull, uh, this pull in here, and then I'll go down to zero and do these two pulls here and everything the respawn in in my experience is fine by this point uh, obviously this is level 90 ek so i don't have some crazy kill speed so the respawn is able to keep up uh, if for some reason you come in here at like level 130 150 uh, you might want to consider going up a bit higher to like plus three plus four i don't remember how many levels it goes up to here but you can you definitely got more floors that you can explore if you want to uh, however, the downside is that on higher floors, there's fewer crawlers and crawlers are the ones that give you the profit through the imbue items. So, um, yeah, you want to, you want to, <laughs> you know, trade off what it is, what is the reason that you come in here? Usually I think the profit is a big one to come here actually. So, uh, probably don't want to be missing out on those crawlers too much. Anyway, this is what I have for you today, guys. A pretty decent alternative spot, I think for like a 90 EK um i don't think i've ever seen anybody other than me hunt here so uh, yeah something to consider there's a few you know rare items on new servers that can drop here uh like the hive scythe i don't know how to pronounce that scythe i think it's scythe uh, that can drop from the waspoid uh, you've got the uh, speed uh, armor piece again no idea how to pronounce that one the cape thingy <laughs> uh, there's quite a few items which are worth like you know 15 to 20k here that can drop as well which is pretty nice for like a low level ek if you want to come here anyway that's what i have for you today guys thank you very much for watching i'll play your video now and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye